welcome to 17th of december's godly blessing today in godly blessing supreme father talks about permanent peace and permanent happiness how can that be attained for a person who's dependent upon things around him for a person who's dependent upon attainments around him or her for a person who's dependent upon praises for that person the peace is limited happiness is limited it's just for that moment after that it's automatically not self generated that's why it becomes dependent on others and for that person an insult can shake him for that person any loss of property any loss of physical beauty can shake that person so how do we make sure that we are unshakable let's go ahead let's understand that beautiful vardhan over here god says may you become full of unbroken peace and happiness by making storms into gifts with the awareness of your self sovereignty self sovereignty means self power power over self control over self rule over self rule over self means ruling your own mind and intellect instead of other people ruling your mind and intellect so god says in order to experience a life full of unbroken peace and happiness become a master of yourself that means you have to talk to yourself you have to counsel yourself you have to tell yourself words of wisdom on a daily basis that's what we learn in prema kumaris and also receive love receive happiness receive praises of yourself as a soul not this body your soul or you as a soul from the supreme creator when god praises you when god loves you then you don't need anybody else's love don't you don't need anybody else's respecting you then you don't need any name any fame from anybody and when you are not needing all of that then every karma which you do every action which you do is selfless as compared to you doing something for praises of others you doing something for others to respect you you doing something for others to give you gifts how dependent are you how can you be stable when you are dependent so much on the world out there that means the matter and the five elements and the people are controlling your mind and your mood as compared to you controlling your mind and your mood imagine that that's what that's what most of the scriptures talk about that move or turn towards god for everything so god says in order to experience a life full of unbroken peace and happiness become a master of yourself for a self sovereign somebody who has got rule over their own mind and intellect and who can tell their mind and intellect mm mm-hmm, no praise from others don't work for that purpose don't expect anything from others monetarily financially physically anything you're not doing that you're not come on this earth to take from others but you come on this earth to give to others imagine that state of mind how powerful would that person be any person praising him nothing will happen any person any person telling or belittling that person that will also not affect you so god say is such souls do not experience happiness on the basis of facilities what did i get in return salvation or gifts will i get in return or property or praise of people but they experience unbroken peace because all those praises all those facilities all those different salvations are limited and they ask yourself that question what is permanent god's love or people's love god given happiness or people giving you happiness so god says they experience unbroken peace and happiness on the basis of godly attainments that means when you are not seeking love and happiness from your people around you or things around you that means your attention your energy is not focused there your attention and energy is focused up that means i'm here to receive from you and give to others a situation makes that makes anyone peaceless cannot break your unbroken peace for that person the rest of the people might be shaken up they didn't do this much for me i did so much for them or oh, i stood there for so many hours and this is what i get in return those questions will never come to you those thoughts will never come to you think about it are you receiving god's love or are you still waiting for it for more for understanding how to receive that do join prema kumari this is a spiritual organization it doesn't change your religion you will rather become a good sikh you will rather become a good christian you will rather become a good muslim you will rather become a good buddhist because it's not about the names it's about the nature this om shanti